Here we have the most miraculous mass of protoplasm on this Earth. And perhaps in our galaxy, its potential is virtually unknown. Do you ever think about the brain in your head and what its potential is? Cells thinking about themselves. And it can, under proper conditions, stay healthy and active for a full 100 years. We've seen people who are living this long now. They don't have to be the exception. All of us can do it if we learn how to enrich our brains. I think people keep asking, well, what is old age? Right, right. And I say it depends on what part of the body. Right. Because development and aging are a continuum mm -hmm. through a lifetime. Right. Now 73, Dr. Marion Diamond has been challenging herself all her life. She is internationally recognized for her groundbreaking research on the brain. She has also been honored as one of the nation's most distinguished teachers. Two of her accomplishments as a researcher have earned her particular recognition. Her work on the structure and differences between male and female brains, and her discovery that with proper stimulation, brains continue to develop at any age. We wanted to know well, what's going on in the brain. Twelve rats in a large cage with lots of objects to play with. And in contrast, there was one rat in a single cage and they stayed in their environmental conditions for 80 days. And at the end of 80 days, we looked at the brains. And the chemists looked at the chemistry, and I looked at the anatomy, and found that the cerebral cortex, the outer layers of the brain, had changed by 6%. There was a difference between the enriched and impoverished. This German professor stood up at the back of the room, and he said, young lady, those brains are not old. Our German rats live to be 800 days. So we came back to Berkeley to figure out how we're going to get our rats to live long, because we were actually losing them at 600 days, and that's why we decided to use them at that age. And so we decided to give our rats TLC. Well, we took them and held them against our lab coats and talked to them for a few minutes each day. And we found the 904, which as far as we could calculate, is equivalent to a 90-year-old person, we were still seeing the changes. So that let us know that we could change the young brain, as everybody anticipated, the middle-aged brain. And I've never seen the Germans come out with <laughs> older rats than 900. In fact, my colleagues all say, how did you do it? But I don't think they're willing to give the TLC that's necessary for these long experiments. And that's why we don't have so much data on the older animals as we do on young animals. But we haven't talked too much about what is changing in the brain. Right. These are the cerebral hemispheres, and they're covered with a few millimeters of nerve cells right beneath the surface. And that structure is called the cerebral cortex. Humans have association cortex. So things come in and then go to association cortex. And recently, it's been shown that new neurons are developed. Things that they've learned about Alzheimer are the uh, treating it with anticholinesterase. Whether we're dealing with rats, monkeys, as it may be, or humans, with stimulation, the cell grows. With lack of it, you lose it. 